Hi, it's Phil here from Phil's Random Stuff. Back again with, I guess, a, a part four on these Voltex uh, Prismatic Cell 100 amp hour batteries. Now, as I spoke about in my previous videos, I was I made the decision to install an active cell balancer. I bought two Halltech BM, uh, BMS brand, I guess is what they call themselves, um, five amp active cell balancers. Now, uh, before everyone sort of shoots off and says that these things are crap, well, yes and no. They do balance the cells, there's no doubt about that. They will bring them up to an even cell voltage, but not an even capacity. Now, they're not designed to charge a fully flat cell, cell I should say, and bring it up to capacity. It'll bring it up to the same voltage, but not actual same actual storage capacity. So that's something to be mindful of when you install these things. You must go through and top balance all the cells to make these things work properly, to give them a flying chance. And this will then hopefully slow down the cell imbalance issues that you have with cells. Now, is it gonna fix the problems on these batteries? Probably not, but it'll be interesting to see how well it goes. Now, I've um, also gone through and installed my uh, voltage or cell balance port this allows me to actually measure the actual cell voltages while the battery is assembled and also charge it back through this port so uh, pin a and pin b will be cell 4 positive and cell 4 negative and then cell 3 positive cell 3 negative and so on um, it it should and i've said and I've also installed a toggle switch to turn the active cell balancer on and off while I'm charging back through this port. Now, some people might say what I'm doing with this is a silly idea, but I've done it a few times and I found it actually works on batteries to help just bring them back up so all the cells are sitting at the same capacity. Um, one cell being down at 7 amp hours means that your 100 amp hour battery is now 93 amp hours in the scheme of things. So that's something to be mindful of. That's what affects the batteries. You can look at the individual voltages. It actually doesn't necessarily mean that all the cells are actually at the same charged or full capacity. Um, now we'll pull it up and take this cover off. Get the switch out of there. Get that up. And this is where I've mounted the active cell balancer. Now these Voltex batteries have these metal plates which sit up underneath the lid of the battery to hold the actual whole um, pe uh, bunch of cells down into the bottom of the case. Um, I've had to mount it on a little bit of alloy to stop the um, uh, circuit board flexing when this moves, just to stiffen that up a bit. And I've gone through and just tidied all the wiring up a bit. Uh, that's the toggle switch for my active cell balancer. To turn it on, it actually has a run light and I'll turn it off and it'll come off, obviously. Now that's soldered onto these two. I've gotten rid of the bridge on that and, and soldered two wires to that up to my toggle switch. Um, and with the wiring for the active cell balancer, passive, or the BMS, and my balance port, I've just crimped them all into the same terminals, soldered them together and just made it, hopefully, Nice and neat like that. Now, another thing to note, uh, these batteries have sat in the shed here for a while. They've actually started to bulge. Uh, it wasn't like that initially, but I guess, you know, it is what it is. Right, I'm also going to do a video on the paralleling of these batteries again, because I've had a, quite a few questions about why the manufacturer says you can't, and I think I've come to a few conclusions on why and maybe ways around doing uh, paralleling of these batteries if you wish to go down that line. I'd just like to say one last thing that uh, these batteries, um, as much as I want to like them, I also hate them in the way that it's just the reliability issue that I feel that I'm going to have with them, but only time will tell. Uh, and I guess all this stuff is my own opinion and from my own experiences. It doesn't necessarily mean I'm right or anything. I'm prepared to admit that I'm wrong with things, but I'm having a bit of fun 
mucking around with this anyway. Right, see you for the next instalment.